Hello and welcome everybody. If you are like me and playing mostly video games that are not PvP related, I personally think there is one option only a few games really embrace but has a tremendous impact on your gaming experience and the replayability of a game. I'm talking about customizable difficulty. It gives you the total freedom of making it your own game. It is all about your pace, your conditions and the things you like. And at the same time eliminating features that annoy you. Which leaves you in the end with a custom tailored game that perfectly serves your own preferences. Unfortunately, not many games give you that amount of freedom. And it is quite a shame considering how much you can achieve with just a few sliders to adjust the settings. But there are a few games out there that give you this amount of freedom, often implemented at a later stage of their development cycle. Let's take a look at four very different games from vastly different genres that are worth playing not only for this feature, but especially because of it. Number one, SnowRunner. The Dark Souls of Off-Road Trucking. I personally think this is a very good and enjoyable simulation game, but it suffers from some unbalanced economy, leveling and progression experience. With the last big update they implemented what they call New Game Plus, which is not really a fitting name, because you don't need to play the game to enable this mode, you can go right away and start a new game with custom settings. And if you take a look at the settings here, you have a wide range of settings there you can tailor the game experience to your liking. You can decide with how much currency you start and which trucks are available. This game suffers especially from a very harsh beginning where you're starting with highway tires in an off-road game. And after you unlock all-terrain tires, the game gets a lot easier. So if you want to avoid this very harsh starting experience, you can now set the tire rules to your liking. Also, the economy in this game is pretty busted. You get money really fast, it doesn't really feel like you develop your own truck company. But now you can set the truck pricing rules and the truck selling rules to your liking. Same goes for the trailers. Also, you can change the payout rules for all the contracts and tasks in the game. You can also play with the time settings like double daytime or completely avoid nighttime. And you can play with the game's wonky damage rules and adjust them to the setting that you prefer. So you can see you can really custom make your own game, eliminate all the things that annoy you and tailor it around the experience that you want to have. The next game I want to show you is The Long Dark, a slow paced but extremely immersive survival game and one of the few examples in the survival genre that really nail the experience. You have two modes, a story and a free roam game mode. And here you have different presets of difficulty levels, but also they implemented a custom mode. And if you take a look at these custom settings, you will see a plethora of options. And this is one of the best implementations of a customizable difficulty I have ever seen. Not only can you set different conditions and the difficulty of a wide range of options like the weather or how many items will spawn and so on, but you also have different multipliers that allow you to lengthen daytime, you can set very specific weather conditions, you have an extremely wide range regarding all your health conditions, how fast you burn calories, how resistant you are to freezing and so on and so forth. You can see the options are really widespread and you can easily spend half an hour and more just adjusting all the settings to your liking. The same goes for gear and what I find really impressive is not only that you can influence the wildlife spawns, but you can also play with the wildlife behavior. For example, making the wolves in this game more or less aggressive towards you and also toggle their detection rate. I think this custom toolbox is one of the best I have ever seen in any game and really enhances your personal experience with this game. 
Next in line is the Riftbreaker, a pretty unique blend of an RTS, ARPG and tower defense game. It's an excellent and quite underrated gem with a campaign and a survival mode. And if you start a new campaign you can just pick a preset difficulty but you also have this custom difficulty. And as you can see you have quite a few options that you can play with. What I like here especially is that the sliders are completely free so you don't have any presets or thresholds to pass. You can really adjust everything to your very specific liking. So no game ever feels like the game before. This adds a huge amount of replayability to this game. And you can make a game a lot less stressful and just concentrate on doing the quests and developing your tech tree and exploring the area. Or you can make this game brutally hectic where one wave after the other hits you. And you have some really funny options like the gravity scale which will decide how high and far you can jump and how your grenades will behave after you throw them. You can also turn off completely negative events or give your developer and cheat options during the game. And what I like about the Rift Breaker here is that you can really design completely different games, very relaxed and an easy experience to brutally hard and fast paced. You can really change how the game feels in a very meaningful way. And not many games give you a that amount of freedom. The last example I want to talk about is No Man's Sky. The arcade space sim with the most impressive redemption arc after its shitty release. It's a very accessible and relaxed game. Some systems maybe feel a little shallow and are just window dressing, but it's also a very laid back experience, perfect for a Sunday afternoon or long winter evenings. Now they also implemented not so long ago the option to create a new game and set a custom difficulty. And they give you a huge amount of options to choose from to make it your game. You have a wide range of survival settings that you can influence, up to the point where you can just switch them completely off. You have big control about your crafting and item setting, which is very important because the original game felt very grindy and you can completely eliminate the grind if you want to, or make it even more expensive and more grindy if you want to. Same goes for the combat settings, you can make it much more challenging or switch it off completely and just focus on exploration and base building. So there is a huge amount of restrictions that you can lift or enable or make it even harsher if you want to. And the very cool thing about No Man's Sky custom setting is, even if you have an old game before the change was implemented and even after you started a new game, you have full access to this menu during the game. You can change all of these settings while playing the game. So if you make a choice that you're not happy with, just change it. This is a remarkable example of listening to your customers and giving them all the controls they want. No Man's Sky really feels like a completely new game with all the choices you can make and you can hand tailor it to your liking. And you can also change it on the fly while playing a game. You don't need to start a new save. In my personal opinion, these four games I just showed you would be worth playing just because of their customizable difficulty settings. Because you can make it your game and you can change so many things that you will always find a way to end up with a gaming experience that you enjoy. And if you're not sold by now that this is the best feature every game should have, imagine Elden Ring before heading into a new game plus. As much as I really love this game for everything it has to offer, in my opinion it has a few issues especially with the new game plus experience. I think it's far too easy and you don't really experience the kind of progression that I would like to have from a new game plus. Now imagine they would give you a few tools to tinker around with the new game plus settings like a slider for enemy health bar, enemy damage and so on and so forth but also allowing you to restrict the amount of items that you can carry over or the amount of equipment. Imagine starting over with just a handful of equipment items. That is something I personally would do because I would like to replicate the progression feeling from the first playthrough. I hope more developers in the future will put an effort to give us the freedom to really tailor the experience we want to get from their games to make it our game. I personally 
value this feature much higher than a lot of fluff they put into the games these days. But what do you think about this feature? And do you have other examples of games with a customizable difficulty? Let us know down below in the comments. That's all for now, take good care of yourself and enjoy your gaming sessions.